Good morning to you, Sarah. And firefighters and police have started to open up this area, so the roadways around here are now open. And that is because the fire is out here at 61st and Aberhart in West Woodlawn. You can see the heavy damage done to the third floor and second floor of this building that spread through this courtyard building. It all started around 4:30 this morning. Now earlier, I had talked to some people who lived here and said they didn't hear any smoke detectors going off, but firefighters a short time ago saying that this building did have working fire uh, or smoke detectors and that that alerted the a lot of people that were able to get out on their own, including one woman we spoke with just a short time ago that helped a lot of people get out of this building. I just went from the third floor, the second floor, the first floor, screaming and hollering and hitting, kicking the walls, beating on the walls, like fire, fire, everybody, please get out, please get out. It's burning, it's burning. By the grace of God, everybody got out. Now, firefighters say because the smoke detectors were working, most everyone was able to make it out on their own. But when firefighters did get to 61st and Everhart around 430 this morning, they did find some people at their windows yelling for help. So along with getting a lot of water on this fire, they had firefighters going up the stairwell to help people down and get out. And they also got ladders on the ground to those windows to help people escape the fire. Nobody's counting when you're throwing ladders and bringing them down. I would say we could probably anywhere from 10 to 12 were brought down from ground ladders and then escorted. Uh, when they go up to the stairwells, they walk them down and make sure they get out of the, off the footprint of the property. Now, the only rescue that did take place, according to firefighters, was this one kitten who we are told is doing okay. Firefighters also telling us that there are 30 units in this building. 22 of them are occupied. About 30 to 35 people are going to have to find someplace else to stay at least for a while while firefighters do their investigation to see what the cause was. For, uh, for now, we are live in West Woodlawn. I'm Eric Runk, WGN News.